Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Today we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. Before we check it out, I do need to say that I will be pausing the video from time to time to share my remarks and to also disrupt some of the audio from the Shark Tank pitch. In order for me to have a successful upload, I cannot just do the entire pitch without any commentary. And so as this is a reaction channel, I do ask that you bear with me as I pause from time to time to share my remarks. Sometimes I will be just repeating what the sharks say, but it is to give a pause to the audio so it won't be um, detected as much when I go to upload and make it visible to the public. So bear with me as I do those things. Now, let's check out the pitch. Hi Sharks, my name is Tomer Alpert. I'm from Telluride, Colorado, and I'm seeking $200,000 for 6% of our company, Felt. Think about how wonderful it feels to receive a handwritten card in the mail, knowing that your friend picked the card just for you. And they took time to hand write you a personal, thoughtful message. Great experience, right? Now think about sending the card. Terrible experience. You have to drive to the store, pick a card from a giant wall, drive home, write your message, search for stamps, and still have to trek out to the mailbox. So it's no wonder we don't send more handwritten cards. That's why we built Felt. Now, you can send an authentic, handwritten card from your phone or tablet, anywhere, anytime. Here's how it works. Simply download Felt from the App Store, pick the card for your occasion, then hand write your message right on the screen. You can use your finger or a stylus. Address the envelope, and we print, seal, stamp, and mail the card for you. It is that simple. Pretty cool. Thank you. Now we're not only making cards any simple, we also make it better. Because with Felt, you can add up to three photos to your card, and you can even add a short handwritten message to each of them. And we built Felt because we want everyone to be able to be the heartfelt, thoughtful person they really are. So join us, Sharks, and let's spread love around the world. I'd love to give you each a handwritten card I wrote you using Felt. Would this be exactly how I would get it? Exactly how you'd get it. Do you have some Probably. photos in there Thank we can see? Thank too? you, Tomer. I do. So everybody's Thank gonna you, get Tomer. a different card. Thank each you. card will be a sample of what you can do from the app. Thanks, Tomer. Again, this is an old episode. This was season seven, so it was aired in 2016. But I just did a review on something called Postcard on the Run, I believe. And one of the downfalls to that app was that it was not, you were not able to write an entire handwritten message for, on that postcard. It was just a signature or something like that. Um, I'll link to it somewhere. I'll put a card up somewhere on here so you guys could check that one out as well if you haven't seen that yet. But it seems like what he did was take that technology and elevated it so that it can be a postcard, something that you write in your own handwriting and then mail it out to anybody that you want to do. So this kind of seems like an upgrade of that technology that was used for the other um, pitch that we just recently saw last week. All right, but let's check it out and see what they think about it. You're welcome, thank you. Oh, which one did you get? I got the Bulldog. That's one of our best-selling cards. So it felt is actually a marketplace for designers to sell their cards, ah. which is a big part of our strategic plan. Oh, that's interesting. Homer, can I yeah. upload my own JPEG? Yes. And does it stay in my account? Am I building an account for myself? Yes. All of your sentimental mail you send, be it felt, your handwritten cards, your photos, get saved in the app. Yeah. And you can come back to them and see them. You can also resend them and edit them and change people's names. I've got uh, a geisha party and I've got 88 people coming. Mm. Can I build an invitation 
and then load in the addresses and then do a mass mailing? So we don't do invitations yet, but that's where we're heading. Because what you can do in Fell is you can save every single address you write. So let's say you're a bride. Yeah. Brides do 75 thank you cards on average, and they handwrite every address. Now in Felt, you get saved addresses. So when you want to do invitations or holiday cards next year, all your addresses are handwritten. How long have you been in the App Store? Since May 2013. And how many downloads? Over 60,000. And we have a four and a half star rating across both of our okay. apps. 60,000 is nothing, so that's why you're here, right? That's not enough to build and sustain a business. And here's why. So we started selling a $4 greeting card. And we're scrappy entrepreneurs. We invested all of our own cash into this. So I put in 100,000. We've only brought- we in this town? There's four partners, me, my wife, Gracie. She does operations. The reason we're here today is because we've identified two huge markets who have huge problems, brides and professionals. A bride already has the problem. She or he has to send 75 thank you cards. So what we want to do is plug in with registries. Imagine if you go to Macy's and you build your registry and you learn about felt. And you're like, holy moly. But I, I see what you're doing, but that's just a one-off, right? That would be a great idea though. I like the way that he's going with that. And I wonder at this time if Kevin had that whole build out that he has now with the wedding and the marriage uh, products that he has. He has like a whole funnel of people that's getting married and a whole bunch of products that will cater to them. So this would be perfect for Kevin if he has that model at this point. Let's see. No, no, a bride turns into a holiday card so next year she does holiday cards, and she does the birthday cards, and she I'm does- just, I'm just telling you, because my wife would be, are you kidding me? You're not willing to take the time to really handwrite them and- The best you know, tool for women, guilt. Yeah. It's totally authentic, as if, as if you wrote it with pen and paper on your dining room table. Tomer, and that's what customers love about it. Tomer, isn't there a lot of people that do this already? There's nobody else that lets you literally handwrite on the screen. Everybody else does some sort of mimicking. I love to send handwritten cards as a thank you. It's I've very personal. I've never gotten a handwritten thank you from you. Well, you've ever. never done anything to deserve the That's thank you true, card. That's right <laughs> There's a lot of people doing this. There's nothing Is proprietary it? about the technology. I'm out. I understand. Well, Robert, you know what your know. customer acquisition cost is now? So for consumers, it's $8. Oh. And that's why we're focusing on brides. Yeah. Because brides will spend $210 with us, yeah. and we net $125. But you don't have them yet. Yes. I've got four companies in the wedding business. So he does you No, know I own Honey Funds. We have all your customers already. There this is a good app for them. In the marriage space you want to pursue, I can get your customers for this. Yep. I've got them for zero customer acquisition cost. But I want more than 6%. Of course he does. What are you willing to sell? What's the How sales? How much are you willing to sell? 6% doesn't get me up anymore. What would you like to buy? How much do you need, How much you need minimum, to make it? I got to have a minimum of 10%. I'll give it 225,000 for 10%. And all the brides you can eat. You're crazy to say no to that. Uh, I was going to say, that sounds real I'm good. Free customers. I'm going to make it easier. I'm out. Thanks, Mark. I appreciate it. I'm going to make it easier because I'm going out. I think you should take it more from this guy. Yeah, I got to have Thank 10%. You, I'll give it to you. And I'll make it easy for you, too. I'm out, but I think what Kevin's offered you here might bring you just what you said you wanted, which was brides. Mm. Thank you very much, Lord. Seven seasons. I've never seen her make this good an offer. Seriously. It is a, a low offer for Kevin. I appreciate it, Mr. Wonderful. It. The deal's done. Wow. Yeah. Very good. He should have counted. Yeah. This this will be uh, this will be good for you. It's a good marriage. He likes marrying people. Mm -hmm. We have to. I still think he should have countered, but hey, or maybe not. Anyway, and so it seems like Felt did get a deal from Kevin. Um, and Kevin does have that marriage, the wedding whole business that he has a whole bunch of products around. And so he came into the tank asking for 200K for 6% of his company. And I don't really think they got into how much it sells and what it costs to make and all of that good stuff, even though it's just technology. Um, but he ended up walking out of the tank with the deal with Kevin for $225,000, more than what he asked in exchange for 10 percent of the company which i believe as all of the sharks said on that panel that was a good offer from kevin and maybe because he know it's not going to take a lot of work it's not going to take a lot of effort from him he's just going to plop him on the platform that he has with all of the uh, other products that 
go through honey funds and all of that stuff. He's just going to put add him to the platform and money will be made at that point. And so I do like the deal. And I think that was very nice of Mr. Wonderful to make that type of deal with him. And so I'll see what research I could find on the web about how they did. Again, this was back in 2016. And so we'll see if they're still in business and how that partnership actually did. So make sure you check those links out in the description for that update. One of the interesting things that I thought uh, about this product or about this pitch was the fact that he said it's actually a marketplace. And so what that means is that other artists, people could come and take pictures and you know, a lot of people, you know, take good pictures. And so you could take your own pictures and upload them to the marketplace and sell, you know, your pictures to anybody that will upload them for a handwritten mail um, letter to anybody else. And so he's given other people opportunities to get some funding. And I wonder if it's still a marketplace. And so I'll definitely link to that in the description. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you hit that like button and become a subscriber if you like this content. And make sure you check us out for the next ones. To integrate the platform on Honey Fund immediately. Let's do it. That's the key. It's cool. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Congratulations, Tomer. Ow! Wow. Congratulations. Congrats, buddy. I didn't think Kevin was a shark that we were going to get. I need to go have a cerveza. I need to go hug my wife. I can't wait to see her. Oh, you're getting uh, emotional. This has just been a long road. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. It was amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. He just. Oh. I'm so happy. I can't believe it. <laughs>